Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Dolston. Today I'm doing an Elemental Hero Neo deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because this deck is an extremely nostalgic deck that can do so many different cool things. From ripping cards out of your opponent's hand to turboing out big fusion monsters to OTK your opponent, it can even skip your opponent's turn, which is absolutely crazy. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the bell there so you can come for our notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, your single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing two copies of Elemental Hero Neos. This card is a really nostalgic two of that we're going to be using all the time in this deck to bring out our awesome fusion monsters, but you really need two in this deck to help you bring out those fusion monsters. Volunteers. We then play two copies of Spirit of Neos. Spirit of Neos is really good as a two of in the build, as this card has some insane abilities that when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand defense system. And if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle, which is a really cool effect. And if this card is special summon, you get to add from your deck to your hand one polymerization or a spell or trap card that mentions an elemental hero monster's card name. And during your main phase, you can actually shuffle this card into the deck, and if you do special special summon an elemental hero normal monster from your deck which is always going to be your copy of neos to your side of the field which is going to help us out a lot to instantly get our copy of neos on the field we then play a single copy of Aqua Dolphin. Aqua Dolphin is one of the most important ones in this deck because we're going to be bringing out a bunch of different fusions in this build using our copy of Aqua Dolphin. So this card is very, very important. But this card helps you rip cards out of your opponent's hand, which is why we play this card as a one of in the deck. We then play a single copy of Dark Panther. Dark Panther is just a really good one of in the build because this card is only once per turn. You can target a face up monster that your opponent controls. And until the end phase, this card's name becomes that monster's original name and also replace this card's effect with that monster's original effect which is a pretty cool effect we can play a single copy of air hummingbird this card lets us gain life points which is why we play this card as a one of in the deck and it's just really good because once per turn you can gain 500 life points for each card in your opponent's hand which is a pretty cool ability we can also play a single copy of Grand Mole. Grand Mole is really good as a one of in the deck because this card is great to help you bounce cards off the field. Is at the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can return both that opponent's monster and this card back to the hand, which is just a really cool effect. We then play two copies of Crosskeeper. Crosskeeper is insane in the deck, but you really only need two copies of this card. This card is which you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon an elemental hero monster or a neo spatian monster from your hand or grave but negate its effects if summoned from the graveyard and if you special summon an elemental or fusion monster while well, this card's in the graveyard except during damage step you can manage this card to draw two cards and then place a card from your hand on the bottom of the deck which is a really cool ability that you just get to draw two cards off this card's ability we then play two copies of Stratos. Stratos is really good for the hero package in the deck, and this card is just really nice in the deck overall. To be able to summon this card out to your side of the field and search any hero that you need from your deck to your hand. We play a single copy of Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist is great in the deck as one of, because if it does touch the graveyard, it lets you add a hero monster from your deck to your hand. We then play a single copy of Liquid Soldier. Liquid Soldier is also really good as a one of in the boom. Is this card is ability if it's used as a fusion material for a hero monster and it's sent to the grave or banished you get to draw two and then discard a card which is an amazing ability we then play a single copy of blaze man blaze man searches polymerization which is why i play this card as a one of in the build it's amazing in the deck and it's just really good overall because if it's normal or special summon you can add a polymerization from your deck to your hand and also during your main phase you can activate this effect that you cannot special summon monsters to the rest of the turn except fusion monsters also send an elemental hero monster from your deck to the graveyard except a copy of blaze man and if you do this card's attribute attack and defense and each each become the same as that monster sent to the graveyard until the end phase of the turn, which is just a really insane ability. We can also play a single copy of Prisma. This card can actually turn into a bunch of different cards, which is why I play this card as a one of in the build, which is why I really like this card because it has the ability once per turn, you can reveal a fusion monster from your extract and then send one material listed on that fusion monster to the graveyard and this card's name becomes that card while it's on the field until the end of the turn, which is an insane ability to use with this card. 
We then also play a single copy of Arm Dragon Thunder level 10 because we have to play a single copy of an Arm Dragon card in this build so we can step into our copy of Armed Neos, which is such a cool card to be able to summon. I absolutely love Arm Neos and that they're actually tied in the Arm Dragon archetype into the Neos archetype. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Rhoda. Rhoda is definitely a one of in the build because this card helps us search out the exact warrior monster that we need directly from our deck to our hand that's level four lower. We can play a single copy of Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is definitely a one of in the deck just to stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. We can play a single copy of Polymerization because this card is an amazing combo piece to help us get out our fusion monsters. Speaking of fusion monsters, we also play a single copy of Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion is searchable off of Sunrise, which is why we play this card as a one of to help us go in for a bunch of really cool fusion plays. And it's just really good in the deck as a one of. We then play a single copy of Miracle Contact. Miracle Contact is an insane card in this build, and I absolutely love this card in the deck, because you shuffle into your deck from your hand, field, or graveyard the fusion material monsters that are listed on an Elemental Hero fusion monster that lists Elemental Hero Neos as a fusion material, then special summon that monster from the extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions, which is a really cool ability to instantly go in for another Neos fusion monster using this card. We then play two copies of Triple Tactics Talents. Triple Tactics Talents is great in the deck as a two-up because this card either lets us draw two or it has the ability that we can take control of an opponent's monster or look at our opponent's hand and take a card out of it and shuffle it back in the deck, which is really insane with all the cool cards we're playing in the extra deck to be able to get cards out of our opponent's hand. We can play two copies of Instant Contact. Instant Contact is amazing to help us get out other monsters out on our side of the field as you pay a thousand life points to special them in a level seven or lower elemental hero or neo spatial monster from your extra deck ignoring its summoning conditions which is a really cool ability to get out the exact card you need with this card's ability we then play two copies of Ian Shuffle. Ian Shuffle is really good as a two of in the build, but I really feel like you only need two copies of this card unless you shuffle an Elemental Hero or a Neo Spatial Monster that you control into the deck. And if you do special summon an Elemental Hero or Neo Spatial Monster with a different name from your deck, you can also banish this card from the graveyard to shuffle from your graveyard in the deck either one Elemental Hero Monster and a Neo Spatial Monster or just a copy of Elemental or Neos to draw a card, which is a pretty cool ability. We can play three copies of E Emergency Call. You're usually just searching out your copy of Stratos with this card or your copy of Spirit of Neos, but this card is really good in the deck as a three of to add the exact elemental hero you need from your deck to your hand. We then play three copies of Neos Fusion. Neos Fusion is insane in this build to help us go in for our Neos Fusion monsters, and it's really good in the deck overall as a three of. And then we play three copies of Ian Engage Neospace. Engage Neospace is definitely a three of, and this card is one of the most powerful powerful cards in the entire deck and pretty much full combo and lets you send a neo spatial monster and an elemental hero monster one from your hand and one from your deck to the graveyard to special summon a neo spatial monster or a level five or higher elemental hero monster from your deck and if you do add polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand and if you special summon an elemental hero neos by this effect it gains a thousand attack points but you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters to turn you activate this card which is not that big of a deal because it's usually all we're summoning anyway Anyways, but this card is amazing because you can send cards like Shadow Mist to the graveyard to get you an additional search, summon off cards like Spirit of Neos, which is going to give you even more searches, and this card is just really good overall in the deck to be able to use. We can play three copies of A Hero Lives. A Hero Lives is really good. We pay half our life points to special summon a level four or lower elemental hero monster from our deck to our side of the field, but we have to control no monster when we activate this card. But it's not that big of a deal because this card is insane to get out cards like Stratos or even Prisma directly from the deck to be able to go in for insane plays. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps.
So for the traps, we're just going to be playing one, and that's going to be a single copy of Favorite Contact. Favorite Contact is an amazing one of in the build. I did consider playing two copies of it, but the deck is already over 40 cards, which is why I just played a single copy of this card. It lets you special summon a fusion monster from your extract that mentions a hero monster as material, ignoring its summoning additions. By placing the fusion materials mentioned on him, the uh, bottom of the deck, in any order from among cards in your hand, field, graveyard, and or face-up banner, cards and if you placed an elemental hero neos into the deck neither player can return the monster special by this effect back to the extra deck which is a really cool ability because a lot of our neos fusions want to put themselves back into the extra deck so this card is really good at summoning out a bunch of amazing cards even shining neos wingman which is insane to be able to summon during the opponent's turn so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Armed Neos, my favorite Neos fusion because it is an armed dragon. This card is really cool in the deck because it just requires an elemental hero Neos plus any armed dragon monster to make this card. And it must be fusion summoned and if this card is special summoned, you can actually choose a dragon monster in your graveyard and destroy all monsters that your opponent controls with an equal or lower level than that monster. And when this card destroys a monster by a battle, you can gain this ability that during the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute this card to special summon an elemental hero fusion monster from your extract ignoring its summoning conditions and we have some insane targets you can actually summon all this card's ability we can play a single copy of shining neo swingman this card is a really good one of in the deck that is an insane boss monster that pops multiple cards on the field gets absolutely huge on your side of the field and it's just a really insane boss monster and as ability must be for fusion summon and has the ability gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard and also it cannot be destroyed by card effects and if this card is special summon you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes among the monsters on the field and you can also use the ability that if this card destroys a monster by battle inflict damage to your opponent equal to destroyed monsters original attack which is a really insane effect we can play a single copy of infernal rage infernal rage is definitely a one of in the deck because this card searches out our favorite contact which is really good to be able to search out it searches out any of our favorite cards but usually we're searching out our copy of favorite contact so we can go in for a copy of shining neo swingman during the opponent's turn which is a really important play to go into with this card and this card is just really good in the deck as well because it has the ability you can actually tribute this card that was fusion summoned using a normal monster as material to be able to special summon a level seven or lower elemental hero monster from your deck or extract that cannot be normal summoned or set ignoring its summoning conditions which is a really cool ability we didn't play a single copy of Cosmo Neos. Cosmo Neos essentially just skips your opponent's turn, which is insane to be able to do. You can summon this card during your opponent's turn, which is really cool to be able to do, and just essentially skips their turn, which is really cool. This is like a fusion version of King Calamity or Cal Yuga, which is just really, really cool. We didn't play a single copy of Nebula Neos. Nebula Neos is great in the deck as a one of because it's very easy to make in this build, and it must be first fusion summoned from your X deck by shuffling the above cards you control into the deck, and you don't have to use polymerization to make this card. And if this card is special summoned from the x deck. you draw cards equal to the number of cards your opponent controls then negate the effects of one face of card on the field until the end of the turn and once per turn during the end phase shovel this card into the x deck and if you banish all cards on the field face down which is a really cool ability we then play a single copy of dark neos because it's really easy to make in the deck and it's a really cool neos fusion that you can make in this build it's just an insane card play a single copy of grand neos because this card is basically a bounce which is really cool to be able to do in the deck plus you just you have to use a copy of grand mold to make this card play a single copy of marine neos marine neos is really good in the deck this card gets cards out of your opponent's hand it has the ability that this card can only be special summoned from the fusion deck by returning the above cards you control back to the deck and it has the ability that you can once per turn select a random card from your opponent's hand and destroy it which is a really cool ability play a single copy of aqua neos aqua neos is also really good as a one of the books this card also gets a card out of your opponent's hand because once per turn by discarding a card you can pick a random card in your opponent's on its hand and destroy that card which is a really cool ability we can play a single copy of marine dolphin marine dolphins also really good as a one of in the deck and has the ability that this card's name is treated as neospatial aqua dolphin and this card cannot be special summoned except with next and once per turn you can discard one card look at your opponent's hand select a monster card in it and if you do and you control a monster with attack greater than or equal to the selected monster destroy that card which is a really cool ability to inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent which is an insane 
effect. We can play a single copy of Brave Neos. Brave Neos is really good as a one up because it's very easy to summon because it just takes a level four effect monster to be able to make this card, plus a copy of an elemental or Neos, meaning it's really easy to summon out to your side of the field. It has a really cool ability as well that it gains 100 attack for each Neo Spatian and Hero Monster in the graveyard. And when this card destroys an Avalanche Monster by battle, you can add a Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand that specifically lists the card Elements or Neos in its text. And you can search a bunch of different cards off this card's ability. We then play a single copy of Sunriser. Sunriser is really good because this card searches Miracle Fusion, which is insane to be able to do. One copy of Absolute Zero because this card is absolutely amazing in the deck because if it leaves the field, you destroy all monsters your opponent controls. One copy of Wake Up, your elemental hero because this card is really good for OTKing your opponent and then finally one copy of extra hero infernal divisor divisor is really good because it helps us search out a copy of neos which is really really nice so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoyed this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played an elemental hero neo stack before you should definitely give this deck a try especially with this build where you can rip multiple cards out of your opponent's hand with all the really cool neos fusions that do that plus aqua dolphin which is really cool i love that about the plays and it's so easy to bring out those cards which is really insane so that's gonna do for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell in there so you can come for our notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys